Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Right, more serious matters yeah. here. Obviously, you've got a documentary out, Revenge Porn, ITVX. If you haven't watched it, I'd recommend it because it's actually very good. Not very good. Maybe very good wasn't the right term. No, it was good to watch. Yeah, I it enjoyed was. watching it. Um, when you did, you knew like how did the documentary idea come about? Basically, is like did you get approached? Yeah. So first of all, it's called Georgia versus Bear. Love that. And a lot of people are using that hashtag. So if you do watch it, please do hashtag it. Down. So as soon as it start, everything happened mm-hmm. and everything came out about the video. Yeah. Not when I first found out about it, but when it went viral, yeah. I had like quite a few people from television companies contacted me to say, look, yeah. this has gone mental. Mm-hmm. Like we've, we've seen how big it is. We really think you should be documenting this process. Like what's happened between you two is actually unheard of. Like mm-hmm. there's been a lot of celebrity sex tapes, but never really a high profile one where the woman didn't know and only there was fans. a camera there yeah yeah exactly and yeah so I knew from the start that it was of interest but because of the court proceedings mm-hmm. I couldn't film anything at the time right so I also couldn't say anything so I would have to watch him saying things about me on all his social media channels yeah indirect or, or not it was mm-hmm. still obvious it was about me yeah and I had to really hold my tongue. So I think being able to document my thoughts and feelings throughout mm-hmm. those two years yeah. was really therapeutic, knowing one day I could tell my side. Yeah, I think it's a good thing as well, because obviously there's two like different extremes to it. But even when I was at school, like people's photos and videos would be released or whatever. And back then it wasn't, revenge porn wasn't a thing. It wasn't like no. a law or anything. 2015. Yeah, it, to be fair, that's so recent as yeah. well. Like I can't believe that. So I think it's good now because people don't, I think, realise how detrimental that can be. Yeah. Like, for people to... Obviously, it's different, you know, if it's gone around your school, people have seen it. But in your case, it had been on so many different platforms. Yeah. I think your documentary, rightly so, has shit people up a little bit. Yeah. And as it fucking should, yeah. you're sharing anything, what the fuck. Um, but he's gone to jail now. Yeah. He's fucked, uh, respectfully. that He's not going to have a good time in there, as he shouldn't. <laughs> Are you happy with how it went? Look, I am. Like, I'm I'm never going to jump for joy at the fact that someone I once knew yeah. is in a bad place, in a situation which could potentially be dangerous. Because yeah. at the end of the day, if you went back a couple of years, I never would have wanted anything bad to happen to him. Mm-hmm. But when I have to, like, sometimes when I feel myself maybe getting a bit of guilt. Not that I deserve, not that I should feel guilt, but I just think it's natural when things are going so well for me, but also there's someone else that is now getting their karma that they rightfully deserve. Mm -hmm. Every now and then you feel a bit like that. And then I will just reprocess all of the shit that I went through, all of the lack of remorse, all of the lack of empathy, or I'll watch the documentary and I'll look at myself in the mirror and I'll think, no, fuck that. And the way he acted during... What suit should I wear? You're yeah. a better woman than me for even having those feelings. I'd be mooning my <laughs> asshole at his jail window saying, fuck off. Um, so, in the, sorry, that was a bit far. But um, there's <laughs> his I'm girlfriend, his girlfriend at the moment. Obviously, she's stuck by him through it. And she's now doing TikToks, which she's disabled the comments of, because you know what the comments are going to mm. be, saying, you know, come visit my boyfriend in jail with me. What is your opinions on that? I mean, she also got papped outside of the prison, which we all know is obviously set up. Yeah, so if you get papped, you've set it up pretty much in a situation like yeah, that. Yeah, so. can't say I've never done it, but... <laughs> I, I just <laughs> not, need the contact and not, I'll do Not it. to go yeah. and see a criminal on the sex offenders register. I probably yeah. would rather go under the radar <laughs> with that. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And I just think, obviously, she clearly just does want to be in the spotlight and she wants to get followers onto her um, OnlyFans page, yeah. which she is doing successfully. I don't know. I just think it. I just think he's a villain and so is she. I just think they think yeah. they enjoy infamy or mm-hmm. they wouldn't encourage it. And then when they're doing yeah. things like, you know, it's an unfair trial because the press put so much out there. Like, you were literally snogging around the corner of the court. You were licking his pat. arsehole on his Twitter. You, you were should not be concerned Twitter. about what's in the press right now. You exactly. should be concerned about your Twitter account and his asshole. Yeah. What the fuck? I just think bad people, that they can get followers for a certain amount of time, but there's only so much, you know, there's only so many times that she'll remain relevant. He's in yeah. jail now. What? What are you going to do? 
And do you know what? As much as I feel sorry for her, because I do, she met him when she I was think 21. I think she's brainwashed. Yeah, yeah I know yeah. he's extremely manipulative, especially when you haven't got anyone else to give you their honest outside opinion. Yeah, yeah. So I think the reason I was so easily manipulated by him on the challenge is because I didn't have friends or family or, or yeah. any way of sort of escaping just the bubble I was in with him. Mm-hmm. And she's clearly in a bubble because they don't leave that fucking house, right? Uh, no. Well, but, she, didn't she write a tweet? When this all came out yeah. supporting you. So basically, I done a tweet sort of saying that everything had happened. Mm-hmm. And I was like, this man cannot be allowed to, to get away with this when it all first came out. And she replied saying something along the lines of, you should sue him. Girls wanting girls being with him for clout makes me feel sick. And I'd rather cut my tits off than be with him. Why are your tits still there? Then, <laughs> if that's the case, that's mental. Other tables have turned. She's actually got Other new tables ones have since the tweet. So. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, maybe I guess she did. She did, yeah. Off. Yeah, for him. Yeah. Do you know what? I think you've come out of this as the better person. Yeah. And we've all—it's weird because watching Bear back, I remember when he was um, on Big Brother. I remember mm-hmm. finding him so—he was a dick, right? But I remember being like, "Oh, but it's funny. Like, yeah, it's so too. funny." Um, but I think it's weird when you actually see like, "Oh, it's not actually an act. It's actually him." Because I just assumed, "Oh, like he's probably not like that in person." He's like that in person. Yeah. Like he's absolutely off the rails. Yeah, and I did think he would turn up outside court and be a bit more mature. But oh, through, <sighs> throughout the process, I've had a, a couple of things as well. Like they put they would when they would put up their porn videos. Sometimes the girlfriend would put captions like, um, "I can't believe he filmed this without me knowing," Fuck and that's a hit, a hit at me. And when the court case got moved, um, you can see me really upset in the documentary. Yeah, the yeah. day it got moved, the day. It got moved. They knew about two days before me. So to celebrate, they ordered um, prisoner jumpsuits off of, I guess, a kid's fancy dress company or something. So it was like orange jumpsuits that said prisoner on it. And they then proceeded to make porn content in the inmate like outfits and put it all over TikTok, Twitter, and also their adult it's porn pages so while I'm at home, like devastated that my life's rogue. just been set back nine months. He's yeah. So she does, she does like to get involved. She, good luck to you, seriously. It's yeah. on site. No, um, but you've come out the better person. Everyone has now sort of seen it from your point of view as well, which I think before they weren't really seeing it. Mm. They probably, you know, like a lot of people, they're thinking, oh, she definitely probably knew about this, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Not a fucking clue. No. Um, and yeah, I would encourage everyone to watch the documentary, even if like, you know, even if whatever, you're not interested in shit like that, watch it because I feel like it's really, it's eye-opening. Yeah. So yeah, go watch it, ITVX. 